Hello, it's Niels for Africa News Analysis and today I'm at a very interesting charity concert organized by Give to Eat Ghana and that's actually an interesting advertisement for the charity concert today and what I'm going to do now is I'm going to tell you something about this interesting charity concert and as well about the organizers about Give to Eat uh, Ghana and right now I'm with uh, Pastor so could you please first of all at the beginning introduce yourself and explain us a little bit the project Give to Eat Ghana. All right um, I'm Kingsley Arthur I am the um uh, lead pastor of the International Christian Revival Church here in Berlin since 30 years. And uh, as part uh, of our Christian conviction, we help people in the name of the Lord. And this is what actually motivates us to do this great humanitarian project. Okay, very nice. So what precisely is the goal of the project and whom exactly do you have? Yes. This project is in a West African uh, state of Ghana. And in Ghana, there are a lot of um, young teenage mothers, children, teenagers who have become mothers, and they have no one to look after them. And also the babies or the children that they bear have also no fathers to look after them. And so these children are literally left on their own with their babies, in, in some cases already stigmatized and uh, really some kind of neglected in the society. They have no um, chance for the future. And so we thought this is a great opportunity to help these um, children um, and to help them to have a future for themselves and for their children. Wow, very nice. So since how long do you already do that? Since the year 2010, we started this project and um, through we started with sponsoring some children and then eventually we found out later in the central region of Ghana, um, statistically, it is um, uh, known that this region has the, the most populated number of teenage mothers. And so we had a chat with the Minister of Gender and um, Social Protection who really encouraged us to uh, join together with, with, with her ministry so we can help these teenage mothers and their babies in this central region of Ghana. Okay, so when you say the central region of Ghana, um, which uh, area is it exactly? Can you mention a town nearby, a city nearby? And do you have plans in the future to go to other areas as well? Yes. Yeah, sure. Our um, uh, humanitarian project is for the whole of Ghana. Our headquarters is in the central region of Ghana, um, in a, a place called Aguna Inkum, uh, near Aguna Sedru, um, not too many um, 100 meters away from the central regional capital, Cape Coast. Now, we starting from there and we extend it, we'll be extending it throughout the whole country uh, to help teenage mothers. And we co cooperate and collaborate uh, with the Ministry of Gender and Social Protection, with also parents, we, with also school teachers, and also the um, Ministry of Education, or in other words, uh, the Education Service of Ghana, to co uh, co collaborate with them and to work together with them so we can really help these children in the best possible manner. Okay, and what are your plans for the future? Any plans to expand? Yeah, sure. Um, we believe in a snowball system. In other words, these children who are helped will one day also help other people. And therefore, we are into finding more multiplicators, people who would see this um, project we are doing and who would also join hands and minds together to also extend it to other regions of the country. Okay, and uh, when you say you want to help teenage mothers, what exactly does that mean? For example, I might imagine it might also be difficult for them to go to school. Um, do you help them to go to school or give them only food? What exactly do you do? Yes, exactly uh, that. We. At the moment, we are building a home for such teenage mothers. Often they are left by their own with their babies and there is a home for them where they can live and they can stay and raise their children with the help of other experienced mothers who would also stay with them in this house. And then these girls, we would 
support them to go to school, will finance the education, whereas they are babies or children start kindergarten in this home we are building a kindergarten as well so during the day when the babies and the children are in the kindergarten or in the crutch the mothers are either in school or in a vocational institution uh, institution um, learning a trade for the future in the evening they come together and they live in this home that we are building today we will show pictures uh, uh, make a presentation of uh, what we are doing and also this teenage mother's home, how far we have reached. Okay, uh, you're gonna make a presentation today, but not only that, there's also going to be an interesting concert today. So can you explain us a little bit about the concert? Who is going to perform on stage? So, okay, there is a wonderful choir in Berlin. It's called the Revival Gospel Choir. This choir has been in Berlin for the last uh, 20 or so years, and um, it's a multicultural international choir, very known in Berlin. And uh, they um, they would do this, um, in other words, perform this benefit concert. And this is a choir from our church, the International Christian Revival Church. And uh, this is made up of uh, people from different nations and that is the characteristics of our church we are multicultural and uh, with this choir we raise support for this uh, project in ghana okay then thank you very much enjoy the concert and i wish you all the best for the upcoming months days years for your foundation thank you very very much and uh, yeah we invite also people who would probably be watching this um, interview and uh, we would then give information about how to reach us uh, where our charity is located and if you want to be a support and you want to support us in any way um, practically you are very much welcome once in a year we travel to ghana to do this uh, project physically there so if you have time and the resources and want to join us also we'll give you the information and uh, so you can also be a big help to these unfortunate youngsters Okay, so everybody is invited to help. This is so. Thank you very much. Okay, perfect. Thank you very much. Thank you.